Hello again everyone, this is JV3 and this is part 2 of Xenosaga Episode 1. When we last left off, Xion was headed to the bridge in order to present her research data regarding Kosnos. So let's head to the bridge. Go to the bridge? Yes. You're ten minutes late. It's no wonder that your research is behind schedule. I'm sorry. Instead of taking up more time with your apologies, you should hurry up and present your report to the captain. I will do that then. Please excuse me for being late. Don't worry about it. Now that you're here, can you please show us Kosnos' data? Yes sir, right away. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. I do. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, so now I think I need to head to Xion's room, I think. Would you like to go to the lower level? Yes. And there is a scene coming up that I'm actually not sure if you're going to be able to see. Um, the last time I played this on an emulator, this one particular scene, you can hear the audio but not see the video. Fortunately, it's not a super long scene. Um, so if we get to a point where you can hear something, but you can't see anything, that's probably the same. Okay, let's see. Chief Uzuki of Vector 1st R&D Division, you have a package from Vector HQ. Please claim your package at the eggs hangar as soon as possible. 
Okay, I think that's this way. Can I go in there? No, I can't. Hey, there's an email for Xion. Uh, an investment notice. I don't think I'm going to read through all of this. Uh, there is something to this. I think if you select, depending on what you select, um, you get something out of it later. Um, but it's not a big deal. This, I'm sure, is one of the emails that require a response. Let's see, I will invest in Hasegawa, I will invest in Vector. I have often used and benefited from Hasegawa Biochemicals Health Restoration Drug. I don't think so. I'll invest in Vector Tanan Pharmaceuticals. I hope that my investment in the company will enrich their line of products, line up of products like the Ether Pack. I will invest in Dawson. Uh, the only one that sounds familiar is Vector, so we'll invest in Vector. I honestly can't remember what this does for you later in the game. But I'm not going to worry about it because I know it's not super duper important. I think this is the way I want to go. Since we were investigating the disappearance of a planet, I thought we'd be out here for at least half a year. But now that we've picked up one little piece of flo- Flot Sam, that's it? What a letdown. Yo, I'm this Vector. Come join us for a friendly game. Huh? Well, okay. Uh, no need to worry. The rules are simple. We're just gonna play tag. We're gonna try to catch you, all right? All you gotta do is get from get that item behind us without getting caught, and you win. Don't try to charge straight through us either. You need to watch your opponent's moves and use the features of the corridor to your advantage. You ready? Here we go. Uh, the reason we're doing this is uh, well, you'll see later. Maybe not. Not bad, not bad at all. With those moves, you'll be fine even when things get hot. Obtained Neg Kit. Alright. Where do I want to go? I'm kind of going in circles here. Perhaps this way. If you notice the Xi'an walking, you can see some little graphical glitches here. Looks like string is coming down from her arms and legs. And again, that's just from using the emulator. I could probably lower the resolution a bit, and that would, uh... That would, uh, possibly take care of it, but... Not a big deal. I don't think this is the right way. I want to say there was a blocked off door or a blocked off corridor somewhere. Is it this 
way? Ah, I think this is it. Oh, this? It's an eggs capsule. You can carry an eggs inside and deploy it as necessary. It uses a sink space compression technology used in transportation to create a totally self-contained portable eggs hanger. I think I need to talk to one of these guys. You're from Vector, right? There's a package for you. It's addressed to this Uzuki. It looks dangerous, so be careful while handling it. Hmm, an MWS? So this is what Nuyuki's email was about. Hmm, I guess she still intends to use me as her guinea pig. Obtained MWS. Well, if it isn't the Vector Chief, what can I help you with today? I'll sell you whatever you need, real cheap. Don't know if I need anything, really. We're okay, we're okay there. Yeah, I don't think we really need anything. Thanks for your business. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some interesting information. You know that vaporizer plugin being used experimentally in the simulator? Yes, my company developed it. Yes, that's the one. It destroys obstacles via connection gear. They're announcing a working model soon, so Vector is sending us prototypes. If you're interested, come back later. I think I will. Okay, don't think there's anything to do in here. And I think we need to go to her room next. Phew, I'm getting a little tired. I think I should go rest in my room for a while. Alright, now let's find her room. that door. Here? No, can't go in there. Can I hit that switch? Oh, I think that just locks me in. Okay, where is my room? I don't recall having this much of an issue in past playthroughs finding it. It's definitely not that door because that guy gets pissy whenever I try to go in it. I don't think it's here. Nope. And again, don't save there. That'll crash the game. Nope. 
is not the right way. Okay, I am quite positive she has a room on this ship somewhere. This I think is my seventh playthrough of this game. How is it that I cannot find her room? I've seen you many times. This is it. Finally. That was a grave mistake, Cherenkov. I believe I already warned you about the dangers of the Zohar. You should have been more careful while retrieving it. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. That those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. That's Margulis. Because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you. We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but... Take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet! It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But... but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! If you couldn't tell by his tone of voice, he's not the nicest guy. Bit of an attitude. Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? 
What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? That was Xion's Honestly, brother, Jin. I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. And Jin is actually the, uh, the avatar picture I have on my profile. That's him. Uh, Jin's one of my favorite gaming characters, and unfortunately, he, that's the only time you see Jin in this game, other than a very brief appearance in the credits. Um, then he takes on a more important role in the second and third games. I'm a little tired. I feel bad about doing this, but I think I'll rest a bit. Maybe I'll take a cat nap. Sure, why not? Good night. Okay, so this is the scene that I mentioned earlier where you can hear the audio but not see the video. Um, it's been several years since I've actually seen the scene since the last time I played this game was also on this emulator and I couldn't see it then either. But it's essentially it's a black and white scene with Xion, the, um, that strange orange-haired girl from earlier in the game, and... Um, a shadowy figure that you can't make out who will end up being an important character in the game later. But luckily that scene was very short. And I'm pretty sure that's the only scene in the game that you can't see through the emulator. What the? You're all still here? Hey, how's it going? We're trying to pinpoint today's problem, among other things. What about you? Oh, Commander Cherenkov gave me a piece of his mind earlier. Ouch. Glad to see you survived. That guy's relentless. You act like a bunch of college kids, and what, is Vector run by a Girl Scout? He just went on and on. Man, that's just not right. Seriously. But it isn't right to have the Chief taking all the heat. Still, I wonder why he seemed so nervous. Now exiting the asteroid field. That's excellent. Prepare to gate jump. Aye aye, Captain. All ships entering approach. 19 minutes, 30 seconds to column area. 
UMN, pulse received. Current coordinates locked. Transfer vector correction to 103. Target, Athens column. Captain, a warning signal. It can't be. Is it them? No, sir. The detection system is silent. How's it look on your side? Nothing over here, either. Are you sure it's not an error? No, no, it's not. What is this? What's going on? Sir, I don't think an external source is causing this warning signal. Then what's causing it? I'll run a search. I've pinpointed the anomaly. It's inside the ship, Sector 3. What is it now? Detecting a large-scale spatial distortion ahead of us. An enormous mass is gating out. Impossible. We're still outside the column area. That's... The UMN geodesic structure is being breached. The target! It appears to be interacting with the UMN somehow! It's being hacked! That's possible? Massive gravity fluctuations! Surface anomalies forming in space-time! Impossible! That defies all laws of physics! Shooting mass, the numbers are completely inconsistent. I can't get a clear reading. Whatever it is, it's huge! The amplitude! The hell? It's like a tidal wave! The readings are increasing! It's entering normal space! Captain! Captain! Straight ahead! There it is! Gnosis! So 
spoiler alert, shit is about to hit the fan. If you couldn't guess that already. Got a sting. What in the world is going on? Okay, I'm actually going to pause it here and cut it here because something came up and I have to go. So this is going to be the end of part two of Xenosaga episode one. And in part three, we will see what we need to do to get around these bad guys. So until then, this is JB3. Take care. I'll see you next time.